So there's a little bit of a story behind this build. I was on Twitter and Captain Bunny posted a tweet with WBC build saying, Hey, we're building this building. If anyone wants to join, let us know. So I clicked on the link thinking, oh, that's quite cool. Let's see what it's all about. And would you believe it? It's a building from my city. Me being the proud Scottish person that I am, I couldn't resist the challenge. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we are entering a build off with Bunny and WC Builds to build the former Partick Police Court. Yeah. So here's the build palette that I've picked out. Will I use all these blocks? Probably not, but at least if I've got them here, I can try out a few things. So I think probably what I want to do is I want to start with the windows again, being that those are the smallest and most detailed thing about this build. The problem I have though, is that this build is incredibly detailed. There's so, so many little details in this building. It's going to be very hard to translate that into a Minecraft build, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Now, one of the things that is quite important about this building is that it has blue frames on all the windows and there's a blue door. Unfortunately, I don't have the capacity to do that within Minecraft. And I've been told I have to strictly stick with vanilla assets so I can't make my own textures or make my own models for this one. So I thought, well, let's put in some blue windows and see how those look. May or may not stick with that. We'll have to wait and see. I think endstone is probably the go-to block for this one because as I was looking through all of the blocks, I realized there are no bricks for sandstone or red sandstone. Am, am I, look, look, let's just look at this. So if I just type in brick, we see all of the brick textures. We've got endstone, endstone, endstone. We've got normal bricks, but no sandstone. I just, it's just unfathomable. So I'm just building out the sides here just to give myself a bit of room while I design the window here. Let's just put another little block there. Right, okay, so we have a window. Now, how do we make it look nice? See, there's sandstone walls, but... This, I, you know, I am actually very triggered by this. I, it's never something I've had to build with before, but I feel like it's, it should be there, but it's not. Hmm, okay, right, carry on. Stop getting angry. So let's do some upside down stairs here. And hold on. My first mistake was building this thing on the ground. And let's do some stairs under here as well. Give it some definition. Already I'm seeing a big problem here and that the textures are far too similar. Let's put down some sandstone walls. Okay, that stands out a bit more, but obviously we've got this problem here where it doesn't connect properly. Right, we absolutely cannot use these textures because it's just far, far too similar. Um, what else do we have? Smooth sandstone stairs. Let's plop some of these down. And we have smooth sandstone slabs. Yep, there we go. How does that look? Uh, not terrible, not great either. Let's try some cut sandstone behind here. Oh, this is going to be a difficult build. Okay, I may be in trouble here. I'm going to have to think about this design and this color choice or the palette choice and see if I can find something a bit better than this because this is just, this is just horrible. So it's been a few days now and I really wanted to take my time with this build because it's a very intricate build and there's a lot of detail here that's hard to convey in Minecraft. But I think I've done a pretty good job. So what do you guys think? I used a lot of various signs here of different uh, wood types. Uh, just to convey the, the sense that there's different types of bricks and colours on here. Because if you look at the picture, there's lots and lots of different types of brick. And Minecraft really doesn't have that sort of texture freely available. Well, at least not in this colour palette. So I had to kind of come up with my own design. So, still need to do a few things. Well, first of all, I need to actually split this up because this is not how the building looks. Let's just put a couple of blocks here, grab this and let's see do, 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 about here just cut all that away nope i've missed the whole front part cut ta-da simple yes yeah, so i've gone for the blue windows as i previously mentioned but i put some banners behind here because in the picture there is blinds behind that and i couldn't do anything with these windows other than i mean i tried to put some i thought about doing this where i would put some trap doors in front of the windows but I don't know if I really like it. I, no, I don't. It, it does give some nice richness and color to the windows. Do I like that? Oh, I don't know. I do kind of like that. 
No, let's, let's take them away for now. Take them away. Let's not get distracted. So, we've got the two sides of the front here, and then we need to work on the middle part. So, let's just bring this out a little bit. And let's say we want maybe two for the wall. Although that's three. In fact, no, that's perfect. That's three. Let's say the door. We need two for the door. So let's say the door will be in this space here. And then grab another three. Yep, okay, let's try this. You know, I'm really, really disappointed that Minecraft doesn't have a blue door. Because I, I absolutely love the colour blue in this building because it's what we call TARDIS blue. And if you don't know what a TARDIS is, well... After this video you better do some YouTubing because a TARDIS is a, a time machine from Doctor Who and let me tell you guys, I am a huge, huge Doctor Who fan. And uh, what I mean, like just to prove how much of a, a geek and uh, a Doctor Who fan I am, I have a tattoo of a TARDIS on my arm. Yep, not even joking. You think that's sad? Well, I don't care. I am who I am. Anyway, off on a bit of a tangent there. Alright, uh, okay, that looks good. Let's bring this back over. Okay, there we go. Alright. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'll try filling in the middle, but I'm not entirely sure about the spacing as of yet. But it's, it's getting there, guys. So let's let's just get some basic shapes in here first. You know, I actually really like this. This is the jungle jungle wood. So I'm using lots of jungle wood stuff here. Um, it goes really well with the terracotta, I think, and they sort of balance each other out quite well. Which is surprising for me to say because usually I absolutely hate jungle wood. Right, there we go, we have a window. Um, unfortunately, because this is a double block here, I'm going to have to extend the size of this window, I think, so it aligns better. Especially with the door here being two as well, we want it to line up properly. So let's just quickly extend this. There we go, we're getting some nice shape in the building already. Hmm, yeah, I think I really like the recessed parts of the walls here like this. Gives it a lot of depth. Although, do I want to marry up with this? Let's, let's try something. Because there is a very triangular point here in the actual design. Hmm, yeah, I really like those lines there. I may be going a little bit off course here, but I mean, that's kind of what Minecraft's all about, isn't it? You're supposed to be creative and yeah, I mean, this is what Minecraft's all about. It's, it's taking something and being creative with it. If that means changing the formula a little bit as you go, I don't see anything wrong with that. It's kind of like playing with Lego, isn't it? When you're, um, you play with Lego and you just build something, it doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have to, you know, it doesn't have to represent something that actually exists. You just make something and it's yours and it's just, it's a, oh, what's the word? It's just a happy creation. There's a real sense of satisfaction when you when you make something, especially if it feels like something that you've contributed to yourself rather than just copying the entire thing. So I'm, I'm happy to put a little bit of a spin on this. I'm going to keep going with this and see how we get on. I think I need to worry less about copying what's already there and just put my own spin to these things. Uh, right, so we need to change this part, so let's get rid of all this. So there's more of a pillared look here, so what if I just um oops, what if I just do this? Not sure this really looks much like pillars, mind you, but it's a break in the design. Put this here and here, and let's grab a slab and put these here. I accidentally broke that. How does that look? Looks nice, but hmm, there needs to be something else. How about we do this? What if I do stairs like this here? Hmm, yeah, that gives it more of a nice little archway. Almost the exact same design as the window frames. I just realised something. I forgot to actually put the banners on the back of these windows here. Let's fix that. Right, I'm happy with that shape for now. Let's not focus too much on the small details and just get the base done. So we need to fix the door area. I'm thinking let's put this back in here so that we still have a frame around the door. I do really want to try and get across the curvature of this here. So what is the best way to do this? What if we just do that? 
can I bring this up and all the way around like this? Oh, get a little hole there. Right, okay, it's 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 starting to sort of channel the, the feelings that I'm trying to get into this, but um there's a little slaps, give me a slap. There we go. It's not quite there yet. What if we get a stair up here? Right, okay, I like that. Again, we're not entirely going with the design of the building here, but you know, I'm not really that fussed. At this point, I'm just kind of enjoying what I'm doing, which is really what this is all about, to be honest with you. I mean, if, if, if you're doing this and you're not enjoying it, then why are you doing it? That's, that's my question to everyone. You're not just here to make a video or to put out something that other people will watch. Just, you have to have fun with it as well, because if you don't, then people can sense that. And no one really wants to watch a video where the person is clearly not enjoying themselves because that sort of stuff comes through when you're watching a video and it kind of ruins it for everyone, I think. So as long as I'm having fun and enjoy what I'm doing, I'm going to keep doing it. This seems to be the episode where I just go off in strange philosophical tangents. Philosophical? That's not a word. Philosophical, that's the word. There we go. Don't quote me on that. Ah, uh, right, okay, we need to do something with this door area here. I think we need fences. Do we need fences? Mm, I think we do. I think it echoes the top part quite well. I just put these here. You know, I really like that. I think once we get a bit more detail behind here, it'll look even better. Um, what else do we need to do? Let's grab some strip jungle wood, just pepper in a couple of these, just so there's a bit more of a contrast between all these blocks. Just a bit more detail and a bit more colour. Ah, there we go, that's what we needed. Let's just randomise these a little bit and have a look. Oh, yeah, 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 that's, that's some nice detail. Hmm, I feel like I want these two outer edges here to be more of a support pillar type of thing. The problem is though is we really don't have the the palette to do that. Let me just try putting in the bricks because we're going to have a, a, a base layer of bricks here as you can already see. Oh, I'm really not sure what I think of that at all. Let's, let's just put this back and what I'll do is I'll put a focus on the jungle planks in these two spots here. Because I think the planks kind of look like bricks. If you just forget for a second that you know that it's wood, so you're like, oh, it's kind of like a brick texture. And we'll just copy the same sign technique over here. This is Mr. X's sign technique, that's me. If anyone uses this in the future, I, I want full credit. Given that Minecraft has been out for such a long time, I'd be surprised if I was the first person to actually do this. Where's everything gone from over here? All the signs are missing. I oh, will fix that later. You know, I'm really happy with that. I think the way that this is designed really, really draws your eyes into the center where the door is. And I really like that. So now we just need to focus on this part up here. It's probably going to be much the same. So what I'll do is I'll just cut past this or maybe do a quick montage or something and let you guys rest your eyes for a minute. You know, I am actually really happy with how this turned out. We may have taken some liberties here and there with the design, but I think it's all the better for it. Sometimes with Minecraft, you just have to work with what you've got and come up with your own solutions to designs. I don't think I'm going to finish the rest of the building because this side here is going to be much the same as what's already there. And there's nothing that interesting about the roof of this building, so it's really just going to be me doing a lot of world editing, which is not really that interesting. What I will do though is I will put the schematic for this building down in the description so you guys can download it for yourself. You can play around with it, you can finish the building, or I don't know, you can make something strange and weird out of it if you like. So if anyone does decide to do that or does decide to build this and finish it entirely, please uh, check me out on Twitter and send me some screenshots because I'd love to see that. So the reason why I actually built this in the first place was because I was in a, a build-off competition with WBC Builds and Captain Bunny and we all decided we would see who could do the, the best representation of this building. So I think we're going to be doing screenshot votes either on Twitter or on um, the WBC Builds Discord. Um, I'm not sure right now but I'll leave some details in the description if you want to get involved in that and maybe vote for someone in particular, maybe, maybe someone you... Maybe your favourite Scottish YouTuber, hmm? Yeah. 
Anyway everyone, I think I've spoken enough for one video. So you know what to do, like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, give your dog a cuddle, and as always, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Why did I say that so weird? Have a good one. Have a good one. When will the video end? No. Yeah.